guys, I'm out in the field right now. I've got Rascal with me. Here comes pretty boy. Hi, Papa. Um, I just wanted to make a short little quick video. Um, I was out here about an hour or two ago and um, Poby, Poby went home. She went to a new home. Um, she went to my grandpa's because we're gonna go camping this weekend. Hi, beautiful boy. We're gonna go camping this weekend and he wanted to take her. You won't leave me alone, will you? You're so cute. So, um, there is a plan that we might be just keeping her at the summer field. Um, because he puts his two horses in the summer field that they have. So, we might be just leave. I'm going to talk to him about it tomorrow. Um, I do think it's a good idea to just leave her there and keep her there because, because whenever she's here, She's like the herd leader. She's got a little bond, you know. He's just rubbing on me. Um, she's the boss of everyone. No one else is the boss. If you don't listen to her, there's consequences. You get bit, you get kicked constantly. I mean, it's never a stress-free environment. And I was planning when I got the summer paddock completely done. Um, it's about a third of the way done. He's like leaning on me right now. Um, sorry, there's problem. He's like leaning on me. Um, but it's just, you know, I was planning on whatever I got this summer. Oh my gosh, rascal. This is what I'm dealing with here. There, he went away, he scared of the camera. Um, but yeah, once I got that done, I was planning on keeping these Denny and rascal in there and then changing them out every so often. Look how he's sitting on my knee. It's so cute. <laughs> he's sitting on it. He's resting his head. So I was gonna do that, but then um, about a day or so ago, um, Denny and Scout, I noticed they were really bonded. They were, Scout was following, or Denny was following Scout everywhere. I mean, they were 24 seven together. And you know, Rascal's not really bonded with him, but that's fine. And Rascal's always biting, always jumping on Poby. Um, he is kind of, he's proud cut a little bit. He was cut a little too late, so he still thinks he's the man. So I was just planning on taking Denny and Rascal out of the equation so that it's a stress-free environment for Denny and Poby doesn't get attacked all the time. But... Then I saw Scout and Denny were being such good friends, and I was just like, all the boys get along, they could be great in a field together, but I don't want to leave Poby alone. And Poby gets along fine with Scout and the donkey, but I do want to keep her stress-free from the donkey biting, because she kicks him and bites him all the time, and he doesn't listen. So then I was really baffled. I was torn between the two rows of corn and I just really didn't know what to do at that point. And then this come up where we were taking her camping. So she's gone and Denny got in the field after I went, I took him on a hack and a gallop and he came in the field and I drug out a bale of hay and I didn't spread it out. Usually I have to spread it in at least two piles, 60 feet apart because probably we'll chase him off. And Scout and Donkey went straight to the hay, and then Denny just kind of stood there. You know, he was like, I don't have my separate part of hay. What am I supposed to do? I don't, you know, I don't want to get attacked. I don't want to. So he he had a lay down. He took a roll. He rolled, and then he, he, he approached, and he, oh my gosh, dude, stop. He's trying to bite my fingers off. Anyway... He didn't really know what to do and he was kind of baffled and torn so he took a lay down he rolled and then he he started slowly approaching and he was you know inching and watching scout 
because he was afraid he's going to get chased off. And Scout, you know, Scout's friends with him. They're friends now. They're buddies. But Scout was still torn. I mean, Denny was still torn between it. Even though they, I mean, they haven't really, they just started being buddies a couple days ago. So then he starts eating the hay and he's like, oh, I'm not going to get chased away. And it just, I literally was almost crying. I probably had a tear or two rolling down my face because I was just so happy. You know, for once in his life, he's in a stress-free environment. I mean, sure, Scout pins his ears at him once in a while, but that always happens. Scout is the leader, but he's not fierce like Poby. He's not chasing everyone away. He's all, I mean, he's being nice 99.99% .99 of the time. So, Denny was just really relieved he didn't have to run away, and he just started eating calmly. And usually, if he's eating, he's constantly, wa oh my gosh, he's leaning on me. He's constantly watching Poby. He's constantly making sure he's not about to get attacked. And it was really interesting to watch because the other day, um, I, it was before I took down those little partition stalls I had for when I was graining. Um, he was in his little stall and Poby's in the middle, so she was right beside him. And he was eating his grain and, you know, they were divided through the fence. She picked, I mean, he was just eating. He wasn't even paying attention to her. She picked her head up and just pinned her ears at him and he jumped. Like, I don't even know how he reacted that fast. He probably reacted as fast as she did it. And I was just so amazed. But then I also was like, he's living on the edge so much that he constantly is watching her and he... He's constantly making sure and right then Denny got a little too close to Scout and he was eating Scout's he was eating under Scout and Scout just kind of nipped him and he moved his head he, but he didn't run away he just he moved his head to a different pile of hay he didn't run full on away from him and so it just it makes me so happy that of the way things are going and honestly Poby staying away would be good for two reasons because then we weren't we weren't going to be able to keep Scout because there wasn't going to be enough grass. Um, but I have had Hershey and Denny here for summer when it was grass. And it did fine. You know, the grass held up. And Scout also, he did founder last year. So, and my grandma just wants to go take him to the grass field and turn him loose like a wild horse. And I'm just like, no. Once a foundered horse is foundered, they will founder ten times easier the next time. So I would really like to keep him here too because then I'll have two riding horses that I can ride every day. So I'll be riding 12 times a week and um, then Scout will be in good condition and he can be on grass and I can monitor him. So he'll probably be on grass 12 hours a day and 12 hours he'll be in here. And I'll, like this partition I have for so he's not like on grass 24-7. And that'll help with his weight, and then me riding him will help. But Denny's going to be on it 24-7 just because he's a hard keeper. So it'll be helpful to have him on grass all the time. And he's not going to founder like Scout. Scout's already fat. So that is going to be helpful. And I'm just really hoping this plan's going to work. My grandma's going to allow it. It's going to take a lot of convincing because she's really protective over him, even though she, like, I mean... I don't even understand him. He's just let him do whatever he want. He was not an amazing riding horse, but I want to turn him into an amazing riding horse. So I'm hoping that she'll let that happen and Poby can just stay over in the field with Twiggy and Pogo. It'll be happy, 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 happy. Um, here's my little buddy. My little buddy. He's staying right along with me. He. But he's keeping my back warm because I'm cold and he's literally standing right beside me. I'm warm. So here's what's going on. See, they're just eating happily. Oh, you're staying. See, this is how he was standing. I was sitting on the bucket and he was just like there the whole time. Hey boys. Hi. Oh my gosh, you've made like a little hole. Hey. Oh, he's shedding so much. Hi, Denny. Look, he rolled and got so much dirt. He loves it when I scratch him right here. He's not pinning his ears at me. He's just holding his ears back while I scratch him. 
See, look at him. You want me to scratch it more? He's so cute. Oh. See, they get along pretty well, but usually. Here, you want me to scratch you? You boys are oh, you just pinned your ears. Uh. Ah. Hold on, let's see if I can get a thumbnail. Boys! That's not how I wanted that to go. I see you, rascal. I see you. He has a little full halter and it's got like a little hole. <laughs> See you later. What do you want me to scratch your butthole? He literally walked right up to me so I could scratch his butt. Watch him. Highlight of the day, scratching the donkey's butt. Isn't it fun, Diddy? This is so funny. Let's see if he does it again. Okay, he doesn't want me to scratch his butt anymore. That's good. All right, boys. I'll see you tomorrow. Look, Rascal's following me. We'll see you tomorrow!